Hello everybody. Um, so here we got my monstrosity. So what we got here is we have a iRobot Create 3 at the very bottom down here. Which is, that's a pretty cool item. It's $2.99 and it's set up for, uh, to do Ross and Python and it's pretty cool. And then we have, uh, the Xavier NX running down here. It's got a, uh, a, a relay stack on top. And then uh, what we have is a little bit higher. We have um, a USB hub up here, in case I want to plug in peripherals. And then uh, we have a seven-inch touchscreen right here. And then up higher we have the uh, a lidar, the RP lidar, the A1. And then right here down below it we have the Z2 camera by Stereo Labs. And uh, it's all being powered from the iRobot Create 3. It's putting out 12 volts and it's running into the Xavier NX. And then all the peripherals are running off it. So um, I'll get let's let's get a little closer look at, at the components. Okay, as now as you can see, there's a lighter on top. Yeah. Uh, it's the uh, RP LiDAR A1. And then there's the Z2 camera right there. And this is the stereo camera. And uh, it's on this uh, a tripod right here. So you're able to turn it around in any direction. And then down here we have a touch screen, um, a 7 inch touch screen, uh, so we can uh, interface with it. So that's up here, and then uh, we turn it around like this, and then uh, a little bit lower we have a USB hub here, in case you want to put peripherals on it. When I dock it, I generally uh, plug in a keyboard and a mouse, and then an external screen, and then uh, farther down we'll look at. Okay, down in the very bottom here we have the uh, Xavier NX with uh, a relay stack on top and then we also have the iRobot Create 3 the base here and like I say this is pretty new, it was like $2.99 and it's, uh, it's designed to uh, learn STEM uh, uh, items um, it's set up for ROS, it's set up for Python, it's, it's really cool and it's only $2.99 so it's, it's I think it's a good deal and it's a, it's a lot of fun. I've been having quite a lot of fun with it. Now what I've done with it though is when they do the setup on this, they uh, you're supposed to set it up with a cable and that's how it connects to the iRobot Create 3. But I noticed that uh, once I put the iRobot Create 3 on my Wi-Fi network, the uh, Xavier NX picked it up and anytime I run a ROS command, it, it automatically sends the command to the iRobot ro Create 3. So, like I say, I tried the cables, and I really wasn't successful with that. Once I hooked it up to the Wi-Fi, it worked just perfectly. Now, let's see. And here's just another angle. Um, I have a, a external display here. When I want to run, uh, when it's docked, I run a display. And then uh, I have the cables plugged into the USB ports um, for all the peripherals. That's I'm running the uh, the touch screen. It's running off five volts from the uh, Xavier NX, and uh, that's how it's getting its power. And the uh, lidar. That's how it's getting power from the USB uh, port. So it's pretty good. Um, I I'm going to. I wanted to. I eventually want to put uh, my uh, AGX Orin on here, but it consume, consumes too much power. The Xavier NX, um, when you stop everything and you're not running uh, any like uh, like AI stuff and it's just sitting there docked, it will charge itself back up. So it doesn't put too much of a load on it. Uh, when you put the uh, uh, AGX Orin on there, even when it's idling, it's still pulling enough to pull down the battery and not charge. So, 
uh, once I, I get that figured out, I'm going to uh, move the, uh, once I get the power management figured out, I'm going to move over to the AGX Orange. So that's this for now, and uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, I'll show you, uh, we'll drive around a little bit and see what it does. Alright, as you can see here on the left we have the iRobot Create uh, 3 robot contraption. Uh, in the center we have the, uh, uh, the R-Viz uh, showing the LiDAR uh, image, and on the right we have the uh, Z2 and what it's doing, it's doing an object tracking and it shows the distance. So let's uh, let's get this thing rolling and see just what it'll do. So I'm VNC'd into it from my Windows machine, so the images might be a little choppy. So what I do is now I'm gonna I've got to disconnect it uh, from my cables so it's uh, off on its own. Oh, and here's another thing too. Let's just look at this real quick. There's uh, this is the battery usage. So right now we the capacity is 2.2 and the charge is 2.01. So we're off the docking station now, so it's going to start uh, uh, just using up the battery. So let's go back. On. Okay, so we backed out of it now, and now let's try to drive around. So here, here's the uh, uh, Z2 camera, and here is the uh, LiDAR, and so let's just drive it around a little bit and see what we got. Oh, we're gonna need this. I stand there. So he sees a person and it shows the distance. Sees me, sees how far away I am. Turns around. Oh, what we got there? This is a bag, suitcase. It knows how far away. As you can see it's up there. He's taking a look at it. back. Let's go, let's go over there. Oops, he left. Let's go follow him.
I'm gonna go to the store. Okay. So there's a suitcase. Huh? Talking to this. Get some milk, please. Yeah. Did you see on the back? It's displaying on the screen right there. It's displaying uh, the touch screen. You see the LIDAR running? So, let's see. You can see the on the right, you can see the LIDAR. Scan the room. Get out there a little bit. So it'll do, uh, and also it'll do like this. It'll be short place. Turn it around and go the other way. Let's see. Anyway, and it's just showing you like all the things you can do. What I'm gonna do eventually, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make it so uh, it'll track uh, me, it'll track objects, and go to them automatically. If I can get it on the dock, see how much power we have left. So, see, like we got this is how much power we use. Um, let's see if I can get it to dock. I can dock it. There, there's the dock down here. I don't know if you can see it. So, let's see if we can dock it. So, where are we at? So, let's go forward a little bit. I don't need to turn. There's a docking command that you can use, and it'll dock it for you. Let's see. So it's docked. You can see it's starting to charge because it's and you saw it blink there. But anyway, uh, that's what I'm just gonna show you, like you know what I got going on. So I've got the create three. Uh, let's go up here and look at this. So I've got the ro iRobot create three. That's really cool because if you go, I'll put a link to all this. It has a lot of stuff. It has a, this is really cool. If you get one and you turn on the Bluetooth, you can just run commands right from your browser here. Now that's really neat. Plus, uh, uh, you know, they have uh, all the...
all this tutorials and there's a lot of things here to, to use. It's very nice, well done. There's a lot of information and it's, it's seriously, it's a lot of fun. And then they have like the GitHub repo. There's a lot of stuff here. Um, there's a lot of things you can do. Um, you know, what I, what I was kind of, we asked them and hopefully they'll get to it as they, they, it would be nice if they had a standalone Python, offline Python uh, uh, API that you could that, it, that you could run with this. Because right now a lot of it is like uh, you have to run it in in uh, uh, ROS commands. And the way this is this one's set to ROS Galactic. And what I've done is I've got to because I want to utilize the um, uh, the Z2. So I'm running uh, ROS Foxy. And then uh, also here's another thing too. Here's the turtle bot. Now what's nice about the turtle bot is it's at it, the bottom is based off the iRobot Create 3. So a lot of the stuff that applies applies to it, like the user manual for the turtle bot, like a lot of the stuff in here, slam, sensors, all these things, all the, the tutorials in here, just like right here, driving the tutorial when I was driving around the, the my little robot there. I use this uh, application. You know, eventually I'll try and get it to do it on its own. So that's really neat. And then they have a lot of stuff. And then, uh, of course, their stereo labs. You know, that's where I got the Z2. And then the, their GitHub repo. Um, you know, there's full of a lot of stuff. So, and then of course there's the Nvidia Xavier NX. You know, which is the the brains of all this. So. Um, that being said, let's see how much power we have left to go. So let's, let's uh, bring this back up. So as you can see, um, right there. So uh, the capacity is 2.2, we use 1.4. So you could probably drive around for probably like a half an hour playing around with stuff. Running, running the lidar, running the, the Z camera. I mean, uh, so it's pretty good. Like I say, once I get the uh, the power management better under control, I'm going to uh, switch it over to the uh, uh, AGX Orin because I want to start using the voice commands and stuff, and I, and I want to do more things. So, but other than that, um, this is my latest project, and it's a lot of fun. I really. The iRobot Create 3, I really recommend that. That's a lot of fun, and it's actually pretty cheap, $2.99. And like I say, they come with a lot of like uh, tutorials and learning. They're, the, they're all about the learning with that one. So, All right, well, thanks a lot. I hope like you guys, you know, 